everyone, it's Via, and in this video I'm going to show you how I created my first Star Wars bullet journal spread. I've been a huge Star Wars fan ever since I was a little girl, and so I decided that for the next few months I will be doing different Star Wars themed bullet journal spreads, and so this is the first one in the series. Today I'm going to be doing a space slash spaceship themed Star Wars spread because that's just kind of the most iconic images that you'll see from the movies and I get to use a lot of my favorite techniques so I'm really excited to show you guys how it turned out. What I'm going to first start with is just taking some black cardstock and measuring the length of my notebook pages. And once I do that, I'm going to tear off the edge of the cardstock and cut it out to fit the page so that approximately three quarters of the page is filled with the black paper. Now that the paper has been glued onto the pages, I'm going to begin to sketch out the elements that I am including in this spread. So I first started with drawing the Millennium Falcon and then a Star Destroyer and after I have finished sketching them, I'm using a white gel pen to outline them really clearly against the black paper. With the Star Destroyer, as part of it is on the white paper, I'm going to be using a black pen to do the outlining of that part just to make sure that we still are able to see the drawing. I honestly thought that the Millennium Falcon was going to be the harder of the two to draw, but I managed to find some reference photos that were pretty simple, so that one wasn't too bad. I had the most trouble with the top of the Star Destroyer because there were a lot of really strange angles and perspectives that were hard to get it looking 3D and accurate within my 2D form. Now it's on to outlining with the black pen. I always try to make sure that I draw with my gel pen from the left side of the page to the right side of the page and from the top down just to make sure that I don't smudge it as I'm doing my work. Next I decided to draw a little planet in the background because that would allow me to use some color in this spread and to liven it up a bit. So I once again used gel pens to both outline and color in this planet. In order to make it look more organic, I did several different colors in wavy lines and patterns to make it seem like this could actually be a real planet. For the title of the spread, which I made this for the month of May, I decided to use a Star Wars font and my gold paint pen to write in the month as well as the year. So basically all I did for this was I sketched out where I wanted the location of each letter to be approximately, and then I used just an image from Pinterest of a Star Wars alphabet and I just tried to emulate that as best as I could on the paper. At the end, I added in final details, so around the title, I just did a mild shadow by using my black and white gel pens to do lines along the right side and the bottom of each letter. 
and then I added in stars to the background of the black paper. To make the stars seem a bit more realistic, I did dots of varying sizes and I also made some look like they had streaks of light coming from out from behind them. I also made sure that I did some in clusters and some more spaced out, and I think overall it gave the effect of it actually being in the background of a starry night. And that was pretty much it. I know this video seemed pretty short, to be honest, the most intense parts of it were doing the sketching for the Millennium Falcon and the Starship, but all that time that I spent was absolutely worth it to see the final product. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope that you have a wonderful day!